Okay, hopefully I don't have any sort of technical issues. The last two videos, it's been a bit of a trip. Um, so this video, and there will probably be several, so I'll create a playlist for it, of um, unpacking. So I've been at this new place since the end of January. Um, it's now first week of April, so it's been a couple months that I've had these in bins, and um, so it, it's unpacking. Um, I recently got a dresser, and it just makes it a lot easier to kind of put away, organize um, the clothing I have. I do have two closets. I've got like a walk, like hallway walk-in, not walk-in, it's a hallway closet when you walk inside my apartment. And it's, I would say probably half, if not three quarters of the size of a typical closet, like a um, coat closet, I guess. Um, and then I do have um, a closet in my room. Now, it is a smaller space. I wouldn't even say that it's a legal one bedroom because my bedroom doesn't have windows. Uh, I was originally going to use this as a studio and then have kind of like a desk set up there, but um, c'est la vie, so it's not how I ended up. I have my room in there. Um, but the closet there is the tiniest closet I've ever had in my life. It's probably about a fifth of the size of any place I've ever lived in um, as like a bedroom closet. Um, part of it is, it is like narrow. Another is that it's split. There's like a board between, like there's a board on top, which that's typical. It's easier to store stuff. But from where there's the pipe um, to the floor, probably maybe two feet, two, two and a half feet, if that, there's a board. It, it doesn't appear to be removable, um, separating it. So it, it really limits what I can put in there. And then um, my thought is when I do get a cat, if I get a cat in this space, um, underneath that, that's where I would be putting the litter box. Um, there's not a lot of space here and that's fine, but um, I have more clothes than I have space. And so what I am going to do, like I, I am decluttering, like that's always going to be a thing, but I'm, I'm not going to be decluttering for the sake of decluttering to limit myself to this space. Um, this is the third place I've had in the last year, so um, I don't want to be making rash decisions based off this place because realistically, um, if I settle into this place, I could see maximum two years. Um, my lease is only six months, so six months to two years to me, um, I'm not wanting to get rid of everything. just. To, to fit into this space. So um, what I am going to do and what I, I feel the most comfortable with like my clothes, even when I, I've had lots of storage, not necessarily my last place, but the place before that, um, I had like a double closet, it was huge. And then I also had like um, almost like a linen closet um, next to it. So it was really good for that. I didn't use it for clothes. I used it for other things, but it was good for storage. Then I had a coat closet that is bigger than what I have here. And then I also had um, a storage closet. So that's where, like, it wasn't a double, but it was a full closet where I could store, like, my uh, mop, bucket, you know, broom, vacuum, whatever I wanted. And that's that space. And then I also had... Um, like a linen closet in the actual bathroom. So I had a lot of storage space to kind of work through um, with that. Um, but that's not the reality here. Um, but even when I had that much storage, that much space, I also had a huge dresser. Um, I knew the person that lived uh, there before. Um, they were relocating and they sold me uh, most of their furniture for a really really decent price and so I had a dresser that had nine drawers as well so what I did 
even within all of that space, all of that closet, that large dresser, I did a capsule wardrobe. I've been doing a capsule wardrobe probably the last three, maybe four years, like three, four years, um, where I would designate like one spot, that's where all my clothes are, and I wouldn't count like, you know, um, personal items like socks, underwear, uh, bras, um, I wouldn't count jackets, I wouldn't, I wouldn't count accessories, I wouldn't do that, um, but it would range between the 40 to 60 items for like articles of clothing, and so um, I just found that to be the best, it makes laundry a lot easier, it's a lot easier for decision making, and I found it to be a really good way to get my creative juices going of how to match certain things. Um, so there were times where I would see an item in a new light because I would have limited, you know, bottoms or limited tops. Um, and then it also got me to be a little bit more creative with like lipsticks. I love lipsticks um, or like accessories. Um, I'm not the biggest with the purses. Like to be honest, I can very easily go around my life without a purse. Um, sometimes no purse, no backpack, whatever. Um, there are times where I'll just have a backpack. Um, I learned the hard way uh, not to put like your debit card just in your back pocket because I used to do that all the time. It bends. <laughs> it can bend and that's not great. Um, so I just got like a very very small wallet. You know it fits like a bus pass and three cards, three four cards and and that's what I use. Um, so if I do put it in my back pocket without a purse, without whatever, it's great. So I like I like my shoes, my lipsticks, even shoes, like I don't have a ton, but I do. I do have some variations, especially while I've been thrift while I've been thrifting. But um yeah. So the six bins that I have to unpack um is all clothing. Like all clothing. So kind of the format that I'll be doing is um, the closet, like the coat closet, what I have in there is jackets, sweater, blazers, and dresses. Um, because anything heavy or any, like anything heavy or wide um, or long doesn't fit in my bedroom closet. So all of that is going in there. Um, any pants and bottoms, so like pants, skirts, and shorts are going into my room. Everything else, I am putting it on the other pile because my dresser, it's not going to fit six bins worth. It's three three drawers. Um, the first drawer will be my intimates. Um, the second drawer will be um, like sweaters that if they get hung, uh, loses its shape. Um, I will probably also do a capsule wardrobe with that, we'll see, um, but it's shirts that I will be really focusing on and kind of narrowing down. So as I'm going through my bins, um, I'm going to try to aim for 20 to 30 minutes per clip, so I might not be able to get through a full bin. I know I won't uh, be able to get through a full bin within that time frame, especially with me talking um, and going over articles. So what I'll be doing is putting it into those three sections. The first one is like sweaters, blazers, dresses. The, the second one is bottom. The third is tops. And I'll be just separating them. I'll be perhaps talking about the items. Um, at this point, I don't think that I'll be decluttering as I go. That could be a possibility. I might be like, I don't need this in my life. Um, or look at it and be like, this isn't going to fit me anytime soon. So we'll see. But um, yeah, let's, let's get into it. This is the first bin. Um, the first thing I pull out is these green kind of pattern shorts. They, they're almost like diamondy. It's elastic. They're relatively short. I got them at Walmart. Um, I don't know, two years ago maybe. It size extra extra large. Um, I anticipate they will fit me. They fit me last year. We'll see. So that'll be bottoms. Um, the next one is uh, these 
uh, workout pants. They're like super bright. I don't know if they'll pick up, but it's got this like neon green and uh, gray um, thing. And it's got like a little pocket with with this here. Roxy, probably a size large or extra large. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't see a size on here. Realistic. Yeah, I don't see a size. Mm. Well, that's fine. Honestly, there's been a few times where I've debated um, decluttering this. And then I've had it in a bag. Then I've pulled it out probably about three, four times. So to me, that indicates I'm not really ready to part with this. Um, even when they haven't fit, because this was, I got this when I was working at a gym. I was... Um, a lot more in shape I find that they stretch fairly well and so even when they don't fit um, they'll fit if I go down a few pounds five ten pounds under and that's very frequently my weight fluctuates that's why I do keep a lot of different sizes um, for me it's more about the quality of clothing the style of clothing and if it'll fit my life like I decluttered a lot that were um, very like gym specific and that's not my reality like that I could see myself just wearing like I've worn that to raves I've worn that just just for whatever so this one here is like this bright cap sleeve um, it's green and blue oh, that's one thing when I unpack <laughs> A lot of dusts and stuff like anytime I clean or unpack or whatever it just seems to be a lot of dust kind of bleh. but anyways um this one here um, yeah it's good quality it's light it's nice for spring uh, when I look at it it really reminds me of like my mimeo like my grandmother my French grandmother um, it's definitely her color palette and definitely in top she'd wear I inherited this uh, from a family a family friend several years ago if not nearly a decade ago I believe um, extra large Carol Reed is the the brand but um, yeah I will be keeping it um, it's good quality uh, so I'll be putting that in tops the next one is uh, this white summer dress uh, with like a, a black uh, back cut off and it's it's like a tennis dress it's kind of on the shorter side uh, <laughs> I wore this I'm pretty sure I wore this to a Kanye West concert um, if not I brought it up when I went up um, I got this at H&M probably about five years ago five six years ago for five maybe ten dollars um, I've worn it I've worn it as a dress um, at my thinnest and I've worn it as like a long top like heavier and then I would wear it with like leather pants or like fake leather pants um, there's also like a couple skirts that I've just worn this as a top and then kind of tuck this in and it sounds weird because it's not like tight fitting but I do have a few few skirts that have a lot of room to give um so because it's versatile even if it doesn't fit me right right now or if it only fits me as a top I think that I would be keeping this so I will be putting that in the dress section um this is another dress um this one here it's like pink and then I don't know if you can see here it's got like floral detailing it's got a fake leather um, kind of trim um, along the sides part of the way here here um, it's got a back cut out um, this was given to me um, from a friend that was decluttering or, or an old friend we're no longer in touch from a friend that uh, was decluttering her closet she gave me a whole bunch of dresses a whole bunch of different jackets and stuff um, a lot of which I've decluttered in the past some of them I've 
kept um, this one. I'm not sure. It's not very versatile regarding sizing, but I do really like the look of it. So, um, yeah, at this stage, I'm not going to declare at the moment. Um, another, so dress section, another one, another dress, this one, and I, I got that other dress, the pink one, probably about seven years ago. This one I got at Walmart about three years ago. Uh, I've worn it, I wore it quite a bit. It's really nice. It's got uh, this kind of off shoulder look, but it's got straps here and then it, it does have kind of this here. It's super long, so it goes a little bit of but above the ankle, and then uh, I'm just trying to find the. And then it does have like ruching that kind of goes along with uh, the the thing. The this needs repair, um, so I'm not actually going to put this in the dress section. I'm going to put this in the repair section because this actually. I guess was too tight on my hip area and it ripped it happened when I was out dancing this is not a drop dancing dress um, especially when I'm at my heaviest or even under that um, but just walking regular whatever it's fine so I'm gonna put that aside as uh, repair um, because there's no point in hanging it or even putting it in a, a bin um, if it's something that needs to be taken care of. So um, that's just something that will be another project for another time. This is a top, um, a dress actually, but because like I like I like the option of like short summer dresses being a top because I'm curvier. Um, and like top as in like it goes past my bum but I can't get away with just wearing it as a dress anymore because my bum my ass is a little bit fatter so with that it is it's nice to have that but also it's still like the style it fits everywhere else it's just a lot shorter um, so that this like this is initially a dress but I really like it and I've gone it I've worn it quite a few times I got it from one of my favorite stores called Suzanne's. Um, I'm sure if you've seen other videos, you've seen um, some hauls even um, where I show that. Um, that brand is one of my favorite Canadian brands. All of their clothing are uh, made or designed or whatever in Canada. And um, I found some beautiful high quality things. And I've had this probably about 12 years now, but it's just, this. I think it's a piece of art to be honest so um, I've worn it to art galleries I've worn it to the first poetry event that I attended I am going to put it in the dress section um, but yeah love it absolutely love it um, I've yeah I've worn it a lot uh, this one here I actually thrifted um, I was visiting family on the east coast and one of my cousins loves thrifting and so I went with her and my aunt and um, I got oh let's see here yeah I guess it is like this uh, so I got this top here um, so it's like lace kind of cap one um, the brand it girl size large um, it also has so that it's not completely see-through this attachment here so essentially what you do is you put your head in there's I think armholes here or whatever and yeah armholes here and then there is like that underneath so it's a crop top um, I I take belly dancing classes like pre illness I was doing it for probably about three four months before and um, yeah, it's a great belly dancing top. It's really, it's really nice to look at while I'm dancing and makes me feel pretty. But yeah, I uh, initially got it out in the summer about three years ago now, two, three years ago. And uh, I've worn, I wear it during the spring and summer, um, usually with high-waisted pants or skirts. And um, 
yeah I love it I love it for for belly dancing as well when that is the thing again so that's going to be in the top section um I love my crop tops like I love it it just it's really flattering for me this is actually another top that I um thrifted when I was out there I'm all about the lace I guess uh, but it's got this really nice kind of like leaf detailing cap shirt like this looking at it I 100% can tell that it's not going to fit at my current size it is banana republic and extra large I am still gonna put it in the shirt the shirt section I still will keep it I do like the quality of it and I do anticipate my weight to be fluctuating within that again um it's just not going to make it into the capsule wardrobe and uh, I'll be getting into that probably after I fully unpack and put it into different sections. This is um, this blue kind of wavy short skirt. Uh, I love it. I've worn it out a lot dancing. Um, I like wearing it in general. Um, I'm not sure if it'd fit at this moment. It'd probably be a little too short, but yeah. I will be keeping it regardless if it fits or not. The next is this blouse. I love it. I love wearing this with purple um, lipstick. Uh, it is surprisingly high quality. I got this at Walmart uh, probably about four years ago, three, four years ago. Um, so it's like a high neck, kind of this, kind of a little bit of a poofy sleeve with kind of like a cinched wrist. And then the back, um, it has this tie feature, so it's got like a little bit of a keyhole in the back. And then the thing is, depending on the weight, it hits me in a place that I'm not the most particular. Like it, it's not my favorite place because it's probably about three inches from my waist, but it's not like it doesn't go just above my hips, which is an, another favorite part of where I like. So usually I like it. Um, at my waist or like a couple inches below my waist past my hips or just above my hips otherwise it, it just hits a certain portion of my torso that doesn't look flattering but I can combat that with high-waisted uh, pants or skirt and tuck it in but yeah it, it is a thing um, but yeah it, it does have kind of this like knitted or like not kind of feature um, in the front as well. So I'll be putting that in the shirt. Um, and then this is, oh, I love this. I thrifted this probably five, six maybe, six years ago. Um, this is like, I think this is fake leather, but the feel of it is telling me differently. It feels real if it if it's not but it's kind of this corsetti kind of top and then it skulls but it's see-through and I just love it um I've worn this out dancing out um I remember one year I had like a theme birthday party um and I I wore this with a corset like a white corset yeah it just it's a really fun fun skirt um it won't fit me currently like I normally have this like right on my rib cage if not a little bit lower than that because it doesn't fit my waist it doesn't fit my hips <laughs> obviously so I have to get it real up there um but it's fine because like this is what I'm really trying to show I often don't show this um I'll have like a top or something or even a corset on top of that um but yeah I I love it. Um, the next thing here is this like coral. I love this color, kind of wavy um, racer back, um, Roxy brand. I got this when I was working at um, the gym, and I probably would have another racer uh, shirt underneath this. Like this is see through. Um, so I initially got it. For the gym definitely have worn it out raving um but it's a very summer top like i i like i like bright colors bright things so um yeah like because it's stretchy because of the material 
it would fit me now it, it would fit me a lot smaller um, but yes I do like this top and I will be keeping it um, the next one here and this will be the last item and I'll be stopping it and putting doing another video is this like super bright very 80s <laughs> 80s 90s kind of a leotard not leotard leggings um, it also has <laughs> the straps here for that slick look but uh, yeah I got this I worked at a costume store once upon a time about six seven years ago um, is when I started and then I worked on and off for a couple years but yeah um, I got that there um, I was going to an, an 80s specific theme party and got that there and um yeah i i've worn this i went to Nicki minaj i like to see her and me and a girlfriend dressed up very Nicki minajy and i wore this with a super bright pink crop top and it was a fun time i've maybe worn this like four or five times i do think it's more of a costume outfit i do have within these bins and I'll go through it. Um, I do have a lot of costumes and a lot of risky outfits. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this is a fun one. Um, I've never, I don't think I've actually ever worn this out just, just out without it being like part of a costume or, or event. So I'm kind of debating whether I should be putting it maybe I should have another category. I'll have a repair category, the other three categories I mentioned, and then a costume one maybe? I don't know. Um, for now I'm just gonna put it in the bottoms, but uh, I'll wrap this up and it'll be another video that I'll be doing after this. Okay, bye.